Okay, this is the inside of the Titan Road Pro 2. It has surface mount technology on it, so very small resistors and components. Um, it still does have variable uh, pots though inside it, so you can make adjustments. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of adjustments. Uh, the modulation, the AM power adjustment, and the single sideband adjustment. Up front here, uh, in the right hand corner, this is up near the face of the radio where the microphone connects. This is uh, RV4. That is your modulation control. Uh, this is where you adjust your control for more modulation. Uh, this microphone, like I said, is very uh, sensitive since it is a power microphone. So uh, when you adjust that, take that into consideration. Uh, it can be overpowered where it picks up too much road noise in the background uh, when used mobile. So uh, set your modulation accordingly. Towards the rear of the radio, uh, there's three pots in a row. The pot right here uh, is RV16. That is your AM power adjustment, so you can adjust your dead key. Uh, you can adjust it down to one watt and you'll see a swing of about seven watts or so. Or you can adjust it upwards uh, to three to four watts and you'll see swing uh, 15 to 20 depending on how you have the radio run. Uh, this is RV9. That's your single sideband ALC control. You can adjust this uh, for your sideband swing. Um, and you should be able to see about 20 watts swing on sideband with this radio. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot in terms of powerful watts. Uh, it is a single final radio, as you can see in the back here. Uh, so it is just a single final, so no need to push it too hard. Uh, I'd run it, you know, conservatively uh, with a nice 3 watt dead key swinging about 15 watts. And on sideband you do about 15 as well. And you should have a very nice talking radio. And you can always run something uh, behind it if you need more power.